Hello everyone. I've for sale is this 1997 Pontiac Trans Am WS6 Ram Man package. Car's being sold on eBay. I'm doing a video showing you the exterior, a walk around, showing any of the car's blemishes. This is an 81,000 mile car, clean Carfax, all original. Hasn't been in the wreck. Paint appears to be original to me. Um, I don't see any damage or any um, previous repairs that have been done. Car's been maintained. Um, has three owners since new. Great shape, black uh, black exterior, tan leather interior. Does have T tops. Has the LT1 engine with the Ram Air. Okay. We'll do a walk around of the car, showing you any any of the floors the car has got. Down the side of the car, the car is great. I haven't seen any dents or anything like that. Um, any dents or any dings, the car looks fantastic. Has a beautiful shine to it. Okay. The car was just detailed. We just had a detail too. Wheels are in great shape. Um, no curb rash at all. Nothing like that. The car has matching uh, BF Goodrich G-Force tires all the way around. On the side of that car, you can see the car shine. The car shines great. See the power antenna goes up, works. Tell what's in the car work. As I mentioned, the car does have a bullet exhaust. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There you go. Yeah, I believe the exhaust is two years old. On the rear bumper. On the rear bumper, you have some very, very light spider webbing there, and a spot right in the corner over there. Um, I mean, from three feet away, you don't even see it. Up close, you do. See, it's right there. There's a little spot. And some very light spider webbing, maybe right over there and over there. Um, otherwise, the bumper's in perfect shape. Very common for these cars to have that. Wing is perfect, lights are perfect. Bumper's a great shape besides a little blemish over there. As I mentioned, if you're a few feet away, if you're a few feet away from it, you don't even see it. I'm gonna try and get on it real close to show it to you. Okay. On the side of the car as well. Awesome condition. No dents or dings in the uh, quarter panels, doors. I mean, the car is just in great shape. The car is running right now too. So I'm sure you can hear from the exhaust notes. As you can see also too, the car's headlights open. They open and close perfectly. Car's fog lights work, driving lights work. Okay. Front of the car is a nice shape. You may have a small little road chip here or there, but nothing out of the ordinary for a car that is 23 years old. Front bumper on the lower part, same with the rear bumper, you have a little bit of spider webbing there and over there. Let's try to show it to you, it's, kind of, it's hard to see, it really is, the car was just waxed, so when you wax the car too, it's even more noticeable and it's still hard to see. But right over there, a little bit of spider webbing on the bottom, a little bit of spider webbing. Like I said, otherwise it's fine, there's no cracks in the bumper, um, it's not chewed up at all, it's just those little spider webs from... You know, people backing in the car, or going in the driveway, something like that. Very minor stuff. Okay, and the last floor the car's got is a small, right above where the fender meets the bumper over there, is a small little hairline crack. Because the fender, the fenders of these cars are plastic. So where the fender meets the bumper, there's a small, maybe two inch, two and a half inch crack um, hairline. Like I said, once again, if you're two feet away from the car, you don't even see it. But it's there, and um, that's really the only flaw with the car I've noticed. It's a very minor thing. The car is a beautiful condition driver car. I just try to be really honest about whatever I sell. I want people to know what they're buying. But like I said, this is the original car. It hasn't been repainted, hasn't been played with. So obviously with a car that's 23 years old, um, you know, you gotta expect some little things. And these are little things, they're very minor stuff. The car just shows fantastic. 
Okay, it's a car, you can get it, you can be proud of it, you can buy it. You don't gotta do anything to it. I'm just trying to point out all the flaws that I've seen. That's really it. And okay, T-tops on the car do not leak. I had it through the car wash. Okay, roof is fine, wing is fine. Doors, core pounds are all perfect. As I mentioned, just some light spider webbing on the front rear bumper. Like I said, when I mean light, like I said, I mean really light. It's like it's really hard to notice it. Um, and that little small crack on the bottom part of the, where the fender meets the bumper. Right, right there. Like I said, that's really it. She's a real looker. The car is, the car is great. So windshield. Mirrors. It's all in nice shape. Show the factory stickers. Okay, there's a WS6 code right there. So it is a real WS6. It's not a clone. A lot of these cars get cloned. People put a hood on it and induction on it and think, hey, I have a WS6. No, it's a lot more than that. It's not all. This car was in Georgia its entire life. It was always a southern car. So rust on this car is not a problem. There's no rust. You can see how clean the paint this car is mirror as a mirror finish. It's really, really nice. Leather seats are nice. There's no cracks, no rips. Okay, it's just a scratch, not a crack. It's a scratch on the leather for someone getting in with their pants or something. Um, no rips, no tears. Door panels don't have the usual cracks in them that all of them have. Usually over here they start to crack. Clean dash, no cracks in it either. Steering wheel is perfect, rugs are perfect. Only wear in the interior is this some deterioration of the headliner by where it meets the T-tops. Otherwise, the headliner is fine. It's not falling down at all. It's held up fine. Okay. And the sun visors as well. Turn them over, there's a little bit of deterioration on the uh, felt on the other side. And that's a cheap fix. This car has two sun visors at 30 bucks. I mean, talk about little minor things here. And if you don't want to change it, you don't even really see it on the side. Car runs, no engine lights, not of any type. Everything in the car works, everything. Every little feature. Even these little nighttime lights over here. It all works. The guy who had this car was meticulous. We have a few thousand dollars in maintenance receipts in the pump box. Things that were done. It's a fantastic car. Great original condition. Okay. The guy did change the radio. In fact, he changed the whole system in the car. So it's nice, you got a Kenwood head unit in there. It's a uh, XM ready, has an XM antenna on it. Uh, it does have a wireless Bluetooth for your cell phone, auxiliary jacks, USB jacks, cars upgraded speakers, Kenwood speakers, Kenwood tweeters. It's got a Kenwood amp in the trunk and it has a little subwoofer in the trunk as well. So you have a completely modern sound system in the car. And I'm sure the guy probably spent a couple thousand dollars on it. It sounds great. So you have that nice uh, modern upgrade. All the seats are beautiful shape. Back seats are popping, never even sat in. Floor, uh, carpet's nice. I mentioned dash. Okay, you got a little bit of wear over there on the bolster. It's not ripped, it's a little bit of wear from rubbing, getting in and out, but no rips, no tears. This interior of this car is all intact. And okay, the glove box. Even, even the, even the uh, light goes on the glove box. We have all the service records here. Probably four, three or four thousand dollars in bills here for this car. His original owner's manuals and booklets. Right there. There's a wheel lock tool. And we can steal your wheels. And it costs two keys, two remotes as well. So a nice car. Okay. Now we'll get to my second video, which is basically an interior demonstration.